This is Movie Tone, Lionel Gamlin reporting. They're on their way to the French Riviera, part of the army composed of British, American and French troops on their way to open yet another front. The Riviera forces of liberation travel by sea and they travel by air, a strong force of airborne troops playing their traditionally brilliant part in the opening phase. They were briefed on a sand table, of course, an exact reproduction in miniature of the actual country into which they would come down. For some considerable time beforehand, the Germans had been saying that they expected a landing in the south of France. All the more honour, therefore, to the men who carried through the anticipated operation with such success. After Dieppe, Hitler said, Let me assure Mr Churchill that if he sets foot on the continent again, he can consider himself lucky if he stays ashore for nine hours. Yet when these gliders were on their way to the Riviera, the Allied armies in the northwest had already been ashore over nine weeks, and the Battle of Normandy was virtually won. The opposition encountered in the south was very swiftly overcome by the airborne troops and by the seaborne forces who went into land under cover of a naval bombardment. Less opposition and fewer casualties than had been expected were actually experienced. This is how some of the first Allied visitors to the French Riviera in August 1944 stormed the beaches. By the time these pictures reached London, Allied casualties were put at 800, prisoners taken were 14,000, Toulon had been entered and the Allies were well on the way to Avignon and the Rhone Valley. And in the north, the Allies had crossed the Seine on both sides of Paris.